DW lab, basic electrical engineering lab. Before going to the experiments, we will see some important equipment what we use in this laboratory. So probably we need a voltmeter and ammeter which are DC mentioned here. It will measure the DC voltage and this is the ammeter. It will measure the DC amps in terms of milliamps. So up to 200 milliamps it can measure. This is a ammeter. Ammeter is always connected in series. Voltmeter is always connected in parallel. Parallel in the sense positive to positive, negative to negative makes parallel connection. Series in the sense in the positive terminal we will insert this ammeter and into the circuit. Like that ammeter connections will be there. So apart from this meters, measuring meters, we want a source. Generally electrical circuit consisting of a active source and elements with measuring instruments. Basically this type of meters we will use. If it is a DC circuit, voltage is DC, positive and negative, then the, all the meters we use in this circuit will be DC only. So the source, I will explain about the source. Source is called dual channel regulated power supply. Dual channel means it is having two channels. Channel 1, channel 2. So for channel 1 controlling knobs are these three. Channel 2 controlling knobs are these three. The setting voltages, I will show you. So the very first knob is current limit knob. So blindly you put it in maximum always. Both should be maximum current. Then coming to coarse knob. Coarse knob will vary the higher voltage levels. Fine knob will vary the decimal points. So I will show you. So let us keep all the probes at a minimum position. And there is a slide switch is there. Selecting channel 1, it will display the channel 1 voltage. If you keep it in channel 2, the same display will display the channel 2 voltage. It is a common display for channel 1 and channel 2. Only the thing is, you have to change the mode. Whichever the channel you are making use, in that mode you have to keep the slide switch. Let us see in channel 1 mode. I am setting the voltage across these two terminals in the channel 1. So first uh, I want to set a voltage of 15.8. So vary the course knob till 15. It is very easy to change higher values 15.5. So I want to set 0.8 here. So use fine knob it's like this. Decimal points will be varying by using fine knob. So 15.8. So at the same time I want to set a different voltage in the channel 2 mode. Keep it in channel 2 mode current knob will be maximum and coarse knob suppose I want to set 18.7 so till 18 you vary the coarse knob it is easy to set accurate figures like this in this method 18.8 0.8 can be varied by using fine see this will be the voltage across channel 2 these two terminals this is the voltage across channel 1 this is only the display, common display for channel 1 and channel 2. In this way we will set the voltages. Sometimes in some circuits we need to use both the channels. There you can set different voltages as I have shown you and set it in E mode. Both channels will work. The voltage across this is connected to circuit and the voltage across this is also connected to circuit. So apart from this source, we, have, we learned about source, voltmeter, ammeter. Now let us see the resistor. Resistor is a component which will resist the current, flow of current. So generally practical uh, resistor E will be looks like this. There are two leads connected with this element and we can find the color code on the top of the body of the resistor. So sometimes it is three band color, sometimes it is four band color. So I will explain how to know the value of the resistor by considering the color codes. So you can see first of all we will discuss about the tolerance band. This is gold color. Generally gold, silver, no color will be there on the edge of this resistor element and this will be called as tolerance band. Tolerance is nothing but acceptable deviation. 
suppose this particular resistor is manufactured to hold the value of 1 kilo ohm it never be accurately 1 kilo ohm it may be plus or minus deviation will be there that is only called acceptable deviation or tolerance sometimes it is plus or minus 5 percent plus or minus 10 percent plus or minus 20 percent depends on the color so however this is about tolerance and remaining colors indicates the value of the resistor first band of color we will see yellow second band of color is violet third band of color is red so in that way how to find out the value of resistor i'll explain you on the paper so we have a shortcut method that is b b roy great britain very good wife these are the words first letters i have taken from that sentence b b roy great britain very good wife so b indicates black this b indicates brown red orange yellow green blue violet gray white so these are all given with a value of 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 suppose this particular resistor is having a color code of yellow violet red we will write yellow violet red so yellow holds the value of 4 violet holds the value of 7 red the third band always indicates 10 power value 10 power red means 2 into 10 power 2 so that is the value of this particular resistor is 4700 ohms or we can write it as 4.7 kilo ohms so like that we will decide the value of the resistor so i will i will explain whatever the resistor values we are using in this particular laboratory so generally try to remain that color code so I will explain color code of 3.3K. So or else we can write it, write it as 3300. So what is the color? First color indicates first digit. Second color indicates second digit. Last two indicates the color into 10 power. So first color is 3 means orange. Second color 3 means orange. Two zeros always red. 10 power 2 indicates two zeros that is red orange orange red will hold the value of 3300 or 3.3 kilo ohm so like that we will discuss about 2.2 kilo ohm this can be written as 2200 so two red again two red two zeros red triple r will give you the value of 2200 or 2.2 kilo ohm so like that we will discuss about one kilo ohm one kilo ohm can be written as thousand so first color indicates brown brown for one next color indicates black third two colors red brown black red will hold the value of thousand in this way we will decide the value of the resistor the third band is always tolerance okay we will not consider the tolerance it may be plus or minus five percent or ten percent or fifteen percent because of the tolerance we will carry out all the theoretical calculation by considering the value of the resistor it is given in the circuit like 2.2k but practically depends on this tolerance value 2.2k will not be 2.2k accurately it may be plus or minus value depends on this tolerance so always theoretical calculations and practical cal calculation will differ a small fractional amount that is least count because of tolerance so now i will explain about a breadboard this is called breadboard so it is uh, having all vertical sections and this is horizontal section so that means you have to understand all lines are having its vertical continuity there is no horizontal continuity between first line and second line so it is connected with a metal plate you can see here this is the plate joined from first hole to last hole that means this entire column will be having the continuity so you should understand whichever the elements two elements are connected you should carry out in the same particular line 
if one element here and one element here doesn't make the connections since it is having vertical continuity you always try to connect in the same vertical line i can show you in this way breadboard is connected like with a plate metal plate it is joined so is, uh, do you find any connection between first line to second line it is not connected in series it is connected vertically and these lines are connected horizontally that means it is having horizontal continuity these lines are having vertical continuity and this section and this section is different there is no connectivity between this section and this section okay so like that this breadboard this use of this breadboard is to place the circuit elements in the proper way without any short circuits so i will come to the first experiment which is ohms law within that only i am try to explain how to connect a circuit ohms law states that simple circuit i'll take one resistor value so let us say 2.2 kilo ohm and connected with a voltage source and connect an ammeter and connect a voltmeter across resistor and this is the comma a simple circuit so i want to prove the ohms law ohms law states that in any constant temperature because we are doing this experiment inside the room so we can call it as a constant temperature temperature will be varying outside of room so ohms law is applicable in the constant temperature only so your statement always accompanied with a in any constant temperature the voltage applied in the circuit is directly proportional to the current if you vary the voltage current also varies so for practical conduction you have to carry out different voltage values and note down the currents so current can be obtained by the ammeter voltage can be obtained by the voltmeter so we will minimize the all the ports and switch off this equipment and we will take 2.2 resistor that is having color code of red red and black sometimes it is four band color also i, I want to explain red carries two red carries two third band is it is not always multiplier of 10 power 2 if four band color is there the last band is considered as 10 power so red 2 red 2 black is 0 220 into last band is 10 power uh, brown 10 power 1 that makes 2.2 2200 kilo ohm so let us take the breadboard as shown in the circuit diagram i will place the resistor like this so resistor is taken like this and this resistor connections how to connect the circuit in the breadboard i'll simply explain positive negative indicated with red and black so this positive and resistor is connected we will make it as one between two elements and this is connected to ammeter we will make it as two ammeter is connected to source negative this is three so we can understand that this connection entire connections will come in a three different vertical lines so already placed one vertical line and the ending of the resistor is placed in another vertical line so this positive is connected to resistor first end so positive terminal i am taking and connected to resistor first end so these two are connected you should not place in series remember this it is not having series continuity it is having vertical continuity if these two are connected you have to carry out in the same vertical line like this and the resistor other end is connected to ammeter positive so i have taken this ammeter positive and connected to resistor other end in the same line you can connect here also it make the connection between this next negative of the resistor is connected to negative terminal of the source so always prefer to use horizontal lines for negative connections it will be better understand by you if you make the connection like this it is not mandatory to connect like this you can carry out in any vertical line also it it, it also connects but prefer to give negative terminals in the horizontal lines so that you can understand these are all the positive and it is ending at negative portion so a voltmeter is connected across the resistance that means voltmeter negative terminal is put at second end of the resistor positive terminal is put at first end at the end of the resistor like this we will switch on the equipment and also rps is switched on i am using channel 1 keep it in channel 1 mode current is maximum 
I will set 5 volts first. So till 4 point something, I will go by using force knob and fractional figures can be set. 5 accurately it is set. So for 5 volts, the voltmeter is showing. We will note down this voltmeter. 4.95 and current is showing 2.3. Voltmeter reading is this, current ammeter reading is this. So I will set 10 volts. So 9.89 is 4.5. You can see current is increasing with the increase of voltage that is only ohms under room temperature. So this if you can cross check the value whether it is right or not. R value is equals to V by I because V equals to IR. V is directly proportional to I means V equals to I into constant value R. So R equals to V by I. I equals to V by R. So like this we can derive. So R value you can cross check by V by I value. It will give you the 2.2 K. You can cross check like this. This is about Ohm's law. Set different voltages like 15, 20. So you can see the current is increasing with the increase of voltage. This. So like that we can complete the Ohm's law verification. Thank you.